Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a war fantasy film, White Tiger. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with the destruction and massive misery of Russian forces from the Eastern Front tank battle in the summer of 1943. As the bomb explosion echoes and death arises, the soldiers readily recover the survivors from the atmosphere of hell. The remnants of the war get filled with corpses demolished by fire and tanks quashed by a deadly enemy. However, hope comes to light when an older soldier finds a tank crewman named Ivan covered with burns all over his body inside a smashed tank. Astonished by the discovery, the older soldier figures out that Ivan shows signs of consciousness, despite the entire body filled with 90% burns. Then, they decide to bring Ivan into the medic team to provide the treatment he needs. The female nurse checks on the pulse and confidently assumes that Ivan will not make it in the next two hours. On the contrary, the male nurse requests an ointment and believes that Ivan's recovery is still possible. Eventually, Ivan showcases signals of speedy healing and has been in the hospital for two weeks. Next, the hospital chief comes to check Ivan's condition and is amazed upon seeing a peculiar restoration in the entire skin after a lethal burn. He then asks Ivan about personal information, but Ivan appears to forget everything about himself. Afterward, the head nurse and the hospital chief share Ivan's details with the senior authority. According to the nurse, the body miraculously heals as the 90% burn scars are not visible from Ivan's body. Additionally, the hospital chief recognizes retrograde amnesia, concluding that Ivan forgot his own personal background, but not his combat and survival skills. At the closure of the meeting, the senior authority insists on bringing Ivan back to the tank divisions, despite the hospital chief's appeal for an exception due to his medical situation. With all the life and death circumstances, Ivan starts his second journey as a mechanic driver in the tank division. Two field officers visit him a moment later, checking his progress and tasks in the tank division. The older officer catches his attention and speaks about how the job is going. Then, Ivan shares what he visions about the ambushed tank. Furthermore, he shares that he can hear a whisper and a voice from any tank by staring, allowing him to identify its past. With such ability, he determines that the second tank gets subdued by the controversial German tank White Tiger, the exact vehicle that burnt him before. Meanwhile, the Major interviews a random German tank member who contains information and connection about the White Tiger. The Major learns that the White Tiger mercilessly fired their Russian tanks, and this type of tank remains a threat and mysterious to everyone. After gathering such news about the harmful White Tiger, the Major decides to attend the meeting with the persons in the higher positions for an effective strategy on the battlefield. They all wonder how their 15 tanks get shattered by a single impenetrable White Tiger. With these dangerous occurrences, the Marshal strictly orders to convert their T-34 tank as their own version to exceed and dominate the White Tiger. Having only two weeks as an allotted time, the Commander appoints the Major to be responsible for choosing the best soldiers. Without any delay, Major proceeds to choose and speak to the soldiers who can be part of the mission. Major and the Captain first speak with Ivan after knowing his unbelievable redemption from a terrifying encounter. They ask for all the information they need, but Ivan remains clueless about his life and background. An impactful statement stands out when Ivan shares his experience with a mysterious tank, the White Tiger. He remembers how this deadly tank fired them with such accuracy and precision. He also elaborates that he sees it, and concludes that the tank is built differently from any other tank, as it is more extensive and robust in terms of its armor. Lastly, he also emphasizes that White Tiger is dead and aims perfectly, showing a mystical ability from the harmful tank. Mesmerized by the story, the Major appoints Ivan as the tank head crew in the newest experimental tank mission to find and defeat the scary White Tiger. Armed with bursting confidence, Ivan starts their mission with his team, the gunner and the loader. Meanwhile, the commander wants to test the skills and the abilities of the three chosen ones by giving the task of destroying the barn in two explosive rounds. Upon hearing the challenge, Ivan immediately proceeds, driving the experimental tank courageously while the loader and gunner compose their strengths in releasing shell explosions. Next, Major shares the map with Ivan about the possible origin and route of the White Tiger. A moment later, Ivan gets closer to a pulverized tank, trying to understand its past strategically. He then figures out the White Tiger burned it from one of the directions in the forest. With such hesitations, Major insists that it would be impossible since right behind the forest is a swamp and any tank will be unable to pass through. 
The captain also reiterates that they have inspected all the places already, but Ivan affirms the tank's presence in the forest. Confident as he is, Ivan chooses to trust his instinct and decides to request another tank to ambush the White Tiger. Thus, Major grants Ivan's proposals for another tank, even though the captain expresses his doubts and assumes Ivan's craziness. Time passes, and Ivan and his team prepare every piece of equipment and the tactics they need. Ivan encourages the surgeon to distract the White Tiger with gunfires and maneuvers. They also hide their T-34 tank with grasses and leads while exposing another tank to deceive the enemy. During their rest time, the gunner and loader eat their food until Major sits with them for a pleasant conversation. After a few seconds, Major approaches Ivan, who seems to wait and observe an enigmatic phenomenon in the combat zone. Afterward, the gunner and the loader sleep, while the Major sneakily stays in another forest area to check the White Tiger. As this happens, Ivan almost sleeps, but immediately opens his eyes as if a great danger is fast approaching. The most awaited moment arrives when an enormous silver tank slowly crosses the peaceful atmosphere of the forest, the White Tiger. Overwhelmed by the scenery, Major tries to follow the dangerous threat secretly, attempting to take a photo with a malfunctioning camera. The dangerous German White Tiger suddenly positions itself in the middle of the forest, firing at the grove and the exposed tank. Armored with perseverance, Ivan and his team release their tank, trying to face the killer, White Tiger. They move closer toward it to rightfully aim their explosives at the target, and an exchange of explosions occurs. As they try to roam the forest, the gunner discovers that the White Tiger is undetectable, believing that the White Tiger retreats. Therefore, the gunner needs to assess the situation by looking outside the tank, and he finds no one. But Ivan appeals that the White Tiger never retreated, but positions behind them. When the White Tiger properly arrives at a specific position and distance, it mercilessly fires them and leaves them immediately. Luckily, Ivan, the gunner, and the loader remain alive on behalf of the fatal destruction of their tank. Major quickly approaches them, ensuring they are safe, but expresses disappointment as they did not witness the White Tiger being wrecked. The news about the thrilling encounter reaches the persons with higher ranks. The Marshal wonders why there is no recognition of bravery if the experimental tank survives and fires the White Tiger. The commander responds that the encounter has only one witness, the Major, and they have not all seen the White Tiger damaged. The following day, Major and the captain check the edge of the forests, and are still clueless about how the White Tiger can disappear quickly into the swamp. Moreover, the captain speculates the craziness and weird actions of Ivan. He shares with Major that Ivan might need medical treatment to believe that the god of tanks exists. In a moment, the Major and the captain visit the tank division to look for Ivan. There they see the gunner, who appears to have a forbidden erotic activity in the tank, which is enough for the last warning. They also catch the loader, who's bringing two barrels of alcohol and is being warned as well. Lastly, they look for Ivan, who appears to be staying in another space in the forest. Upon arriving at the given location, the Major and the Captain witness Ivan kneeling on the ground and praying. Captain wants to stop him, but Major allows Ivan to finish his prayer and listens to his extraordinary visions for any impending danger. Not long after, Ivan begins saying that the White Tiger is just waiting and preparing for immense devastation to all their troops and tanks. He also shares that the god of tanks in the sky is true and has been protecting him from any fatal chaos. Additionally, Ivan even proves that his god sits on a tank, leading to thunder and lightning, and the signals appear in the sky. Lastly, he elaborates that hearing tanks allow him to survive, and the tank wants him to avenge the White Tiger. Listening to the mystical information, Captain completely disagrees, but the Major starts to believe and gets convinced by Ivan's supernatural manifestations about war. Meanwhile, Major and the Captain never stop solving the mystery and still interrogate another German prisoner about their knowledge of the White Tiger. But still, they hear an answer that such a tank never exists. The time has come for the Russian forces to target the White Tiger. They release all their tanks and travel the horizons of the forest, hoping to ruin the mysterious enemy. The Russian forces align their tanks on the edges of the forest, firing their shells to locate the target. When most Russian tanks reach the middle of the forest in a tight formation, the deadliest monstrous tank, the White Tiger, evolves from one corner. The indestructible White Tiger alone showers its shells, erasing each Russian tank and the soldiers' lives inhumanly. The screams and shouts of burning soldiers echo in the air, and the heavy explosions and fires occupy the entire ambience of the forest. In the middle of the hell, the brave soldiers never retreat, but keep releasing their weapons until their last breath. As this happens, the people in higher positions witness the unfortunate encounter, ordering them to go back as some soldiers are dying, burning, and getting toasted already. 
After several attacks and heavy damage, the White Tiger disappears out of nowhere. Meanwhile, Ivan and his team strive to fight and roam around the forest. With such perseverance, Ivan never ceases to ramble every section of the forest until they reach an abandoned village. The brave searching keeps going, and they fire at each house, expecting to catch the White Tiger. A terrifying tension emerges when the White Tiger shows up in the opposite corner. Unhesitatingly, they launch their consecutive attacks and target the core of the White Tiger. Back-to-back -back tank shell explosions transpire in the battle, but Ivan's courage prevails. He navigates the tank smartly by hiding in a house to surprise the indestructible enemy at the right time. Additionally, they manage to land in a great position, giving them a wave aimed the White Tiger accurately. As Ivan tries to get closer, their tank gets stuck in the mud, forcing them to attack the White Tiger instead in the given position. Signs of hope remain when they see that the White Tiger suffers damage. However, when Ivan witnesses the White Tiger slowly escaping, he moves out of his tank because their cannon blew up. He fires his gun into the White Tiger, only to realize that it does not have any troops or crew members inside, and it disappears into thin air again. After the significant losses from the said encounter, Major approaches the commander to tell how the White Tiger disappear again. Major shares that the mysterious White Tiger has no crew inside it. He even shares his belief in Ivan's declarations and visions before the exhilarating fight. Unfortunately, the commander treats all the unusual details as a fruit of foolishness and offers the Major a 10-day leave from any obligations. Consequently, the German delegation signs the Unconditional Surrender Agreement. All the persons and the media witness the event, which signifies an end to the battle. The time has come for the soldiers to be released from military obligation. For a closure conversation, Major decides to see Ivan and tells him the moment has come for the battle and war to end. However, Ivan surprisingly explains that the struggle has never ended yet. He elucidates that the enemy White Tiger temporarily rests and will eventually appear again as a future danger. When Major is about to leave, he gets mesmerized after seeing no one in the field. It can be surmised that Ivan and the enigmatic White Tiger seem to be representations and products of human war, and will be a never-ending cycle of humanity. The movie ends with Adolf Hitler sharing his sentiments about the outcomes of the war in a discourse. He enunciates that everyone will blame Germany and treat them as a scapegoat for the future. He also justifies that the demolition imposed on Jews in Russia was once part of a European dream. Lastly, Hitler concludes that humankind is the product of the struggle, and that war will always be the form of the human state, just like the mysterious war machine, the White Tiger. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.